Hello, my name is Brenda Kahn. Today, we are discussing diabetes insipidus in dogs. How are diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus different? Diabetes can manifest itself in two ways in dogs. Diabetes mellitus is caused by a malfunctioning pancreas and poor blood sugar management. Diabetes mellitus, which translates as sweetened with honey, originates from the fact that these patients' urine was sweet due to the high levels of sugar discharged by the body. Diabetes insipidus is so named because their urine is so dilute that it is tasteless or insipid. Diabetes insipidus is a relatively uncommon condition in dogs. It is characterized by excessive thirst drinking and the generation of massive amounts of highly dilute urine. Certain dogs may produce extreme quantities of urine and become incontinent. Ironically, despite drinking enormous amounts of water, the dog can get dehydrated through excessive urination. Excessive thirst, polydipsia, and increased urine production, polyuria, can be caused by a variety of conditions, including diabetes insipidus, diabetes mellitus, liver issues, and renal illness, to mention a few. Therefore, it is critical to run many diagnostic tests to ascertain the reason for your dog's condition. How is a diagnosis of diabetes insipidus made? Diagnosing diabetes insipidus entails ruling out alternative explanations for excessive drinking and urination. Routine diagnostic tests include a complete blood count, a blood chemistry panel to examine liver and kidney parameters, blood sugar, and urinalysis. However, in these dogs, the urine-specific gravity is relatively low. Therefore, a more sophisticated test involves calculating the dog's regular daily water intake, determining how much he indeed drinks in 24 hours, depriving him of a portion of the volume he is consuming to bring the volume closer to normal, and then measuring the urine concentration to determine whether or not the dog can concentrate the urine. This procedure is referred to as a water deprivation test. If there is any indication of neoplasia in the pituitary gland, the veterinarian may order a CT or MRI. Similarly, the veterinarian may offer a trial treatment with a drug to determine how well he responds to it. What is the cause of diabetes insipidus? One of the functions of the kidneys is to continuously filter the blood that goes through them and maintain the body's water balance by excreting or reabsorbing fluid as necessary. Effective reabsorption requires an adequate quantity of antidiuretic hormone, AD, or vasopressin, produced by the pituitary gland and acting on the kidneys. Diabetes insipidus can be caused by insufficient ADH production, central diabetes insipidus, or by renal resistance to the hormone, called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. As shown in central diabetes insipidus, inadequate ADH production can be caused by a birth abnormality, brain trauma, or a pituitary tumor, or it may have no identifiable cause. Inadequate kidney response to ADH, as seen in nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, can occur due to a congenital abnormality an unfavorable reaction to certain drugs, or a subsequent complication of certain diseases, like severe infection, metabolic disorders, or advancing kidney disease. Central diabetes insipidus is treated with a synthetic ADH called dismopricin, also known as DDAFT, given as eye drops or intravenously. Oral hydrochlorothiazide and a low-salt diet are used to treat nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. The precise diagnosis determines treatment. The underlying condition that causes nephrogenic diabetes insipidus should be identified to provide more targeted treatment. Is it possible to cure diabetes insipidus? In rare patients whose diabetes insipidus is induced by trauma, Diabetes insipidus cannot be cured. Nevertheless, medications may successfully treat it. Without treatment, this condition causes dehydration, leading to stupor, coma, and death. Remember that by giving us a like and subscribing to our channel, you are helping to train the veterinarians of the future.